Matisse is a super, super, super uh, painter of 20th century, above all about colors. So what was your aim with this exhibition? Well, this exhibition is really focusing on, uh, on a critical Matisse, on how Matisse was uh, himself a critical painter and how he interacts constantly with the word, uh, the written word and the, um, the analytical side of his work. So it's also uh, um, the possibility for the Musée National d'Art Moderne to display uh, in an unprecedented fashion, uh, very, very largely its, uh, its collection. Uh, with you know prominent uh, additions from uh, from uh, international collections, public and private. And so, how do you deal with uh, this idea of decoration, this idea of pleasures that we know about Matisse? Well, hopefully the, the exhibition conveys this idea of, of pleasure and decoration. And, and for instance, here I'm talking in front of probably what is. Uh, the most, uh, or one of the most spectacular looms from the exhibition. It's the interior, interior with eggplants uh, from 1911, from Matisse, and this is a very, very special loan uh, from the Musée de Grenoble in France. Indeed, it is special because it never travels, or very rarely travels. Uh, two occasions, 37, 1937, so that was a long time ago, at the Petit Palais, and then in uh, 93, 1993, in, in this walls, uh, Gallery one, one, sorry, at the Centre Pompidou for another Matisse exhibition, one that focused um, on the, the um, experimental years of 1904-1917. So this is a very, very rare picture indeed, very fragile also. We, that's why we, we display it in this uh, special uh, uh, conserva conservation uh, case, I don't know how to, to, to call it, but it's a, we have to display it like this, so the temperature in the room doesn't affect uh, the, 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 the piece. Uh, the work also has a, an extremely, extremely fascinating story because Matisse has given himself, has given the work to the Musée de Grenoble in 1922. Mm -hmm. uh, the reason is that probably, several reasons probably, Matisse knew that, that the, uh, his art, uh, experimental art from the four years from after, from the war, 1914 for instance, was simply not uh, in the museums in France. Um, it was in, in various collections abroad and in France, but private for, for private uh, owners. So when he knew that, he knew also that André Farcy, a very daring curator, young curator at the time, uh, was collecting very actively, very almost aggressively for Grenoble, modern art, which was quite rare at the time. And Matisse knew also that Picasso had given a work from the Fontainebleau years, 1921, he gave uh, a painting to, to André Farcy. It's very likely to think that <laughs> Matisse was also very eager to enter the competition and say, okay, if Picasso has given a work in this modern museum, I have to also make this gesture. He also knew that those big interiors, and there are four of them, uh, were, for three of them, all gone in Russia, uh, and they were not available anymore. So this was in, in foreign countries in foreign today. Countries. In America, now at, MoMA, now at MoMA for the inter red interior, which is obviously a masterpiece of decoration, uh, and and two of them, three of them, sorry, in Russia, now split between Pushkin and uh, and um, and the other museum. Hermitage. Hermitage, indeed. So Matisse knew that it was the, the only expression of his highly, highly, highly decorative uh, conception of art. And, uh, and there's also this interesting interaction with, uh, with, uh, with Picasso. And one thing to, to say is that, first of all, the, the painting, painting in Collioure, huh, so back to the fourth years, he goes back to the, the very uh, premises of, uh, of, uh, of his wide uh, years, if I can put it like this. Uh, he goes back to Collioure in, uh, in 1911 to paint the work, he goes back to Paris with the painting, and the work is almost immediately bought by the Stein, the family Stein. Um, Gertrude. Not Gertrude and Leo, because at the time, at this time, they're already a bit remote from Matisse's work and definitely more focused on Picasso. Mm -hmm. But the other branch of the of the family, oh, which, are, which are which are Michael and Sarah 
um, Michael and Sarah Stein. They're, they're, they're not brothers and sisters, they are, um, okay. they are and, uh, husband and wife. So, uh, and they, they, they buy it in 1911, hmm. uh, early, early, 12, early 12. And Matisse was going to purchase back the wow. painting. So this, it really to give it to Grenoble. To give it to Grenoble a few years later. And uh, so, just as a conclusion, uh, Saint Pompidou is the biggest owner, public owner of work from Matisse. In France, that is. Or no, worldwide. Worldwide, probably. Well, in terms of uh, of, uh, of quantity, it is will very likely to be one of the, the most important collection for sure. Uh, we do have lacks, uh, definitely, and probably. The competition is hard with the MoMA and, and the Russian museums. Ah, ok. Because of Shukin and Morozov. Exactly. Merci. Je vous en prie.